What is the difference between stem mastering and mixing and mastering? Now the obvious difference straight away is mixing and mastering is mixing. So that has a mixing service and mastering. Stem mastering, on the other hand, is a mastering service, so no mixing involved. Now, where people get kind of confused with the two and kind of put them into the same ballpark is the fact that we have all the stems. So we have the stems for the mixing, we have the stems for the mastering. Where we have the stems, we do have the ability to mix. We could mix while stem mastering, but you don't mix. That's not part of what that service is. Now, with stem mastering, the stems for the mixing and the stem uh, stems for the stem mastering are slightly different. The stems for stem mastering are going to be buses. They're going to be groups of sounds that ultimately, once stacked together and summed together, are going to play your finished stereo mix. With mixing, the stems aren't necessarily grouped together. Um, they can be, but often kick, snare, hi-hats, for instance, breakdown of each individual stem whereas stem mastering for instance you might have the kick and then the rest of the drums so the big difference between the two mixing we can mix stem mastering we're doing mastering now where does the benefit lie from stem mastering compared to stereo mastering with stem mastering when we're mastering what we can do is let's say for argument's sake and this is a good example vocals now your vocal is too sibilant and it's also too quiet when we're stem mastering whilst mastering we can increase the volume of the vocal we can also add deessing to just the vocal stem whereas if we only had the stereo mix we would have to apply deessing to the overall sound which would then catch the hi-hats it would then catch anything else um, that's also sibilant or, or, or also in that range. So we might not be able to catch the uh, vocal sibilance as well as if we just had a stereo stem. So that's where stem mastering benefits over stereo mastering. But the two when compared mixing and stem mastering, they're very, very different. And it's a very different approach. We would never add reverb or delay or any sort of creative effect while stem mastering. When stem mastering, the mix must be finished. It must be 100% finished and playback of the stems plays back exactly as the stereo mix does, the finished stereo mix. What you want to achieve from stem mastering is that you're giving the engineer more control and more ability to rebalance and get that perfect balance of your mix into that mastering chain. So with, with a stereo mix, we go into that mastering chain. Um, we we could, for instance, once mastered, you might feel that, let's say the bass or the snare drum isn't quite popping through enough. Let's say the snare drum. So the snare drum's not coming through enough. When we have the ability of using stems, we can just increase the snare. Or if we've got a snare as, as a drum group, we can get the EQ on that snare and pull that snare out so that it does come through the mix as we want it to. Because in the mix, it might be coming through just fine. But once mastered and everything's kind of you know glued together, compressed, limiting, then what happens is some sounds could, you know, they can fall back a little bit. We have the ability when stem mastering to push them back through the mix. So we can create this perfect balance going into the master chain and we can rebalance things so that everything is perfectly uh, balanced, ready for mastering. And it's perfect for the end result being brilliant. And it, it, it does achieve a better result than stereo mastering because we have that, that ability to do all of what I just mentioned. Now with mixing, mixing is different. So we, we would then, when mixing, create a mix that is ready for mastering. So we then create all this mix. Um, it's, it's very different to stem mastering uh, in the sense that, obviously, yeah, we all know what mixing is. I don't need to explain what mixing is, but the difference between the two is that you're getting, with mixing, reverbs added, delays added, EQ of every single channel, compression on every single channel. We're, we are technically creating that mix that then could be broken down into stems to then be stem mastered. 
So that's that's the major thing between the two. Um, I mean, this video is more directed towards explaining what stem mastering is and the benefits of stem mastering, because um, we all know what mixing is. And with mixing, we're more balancing the kick, the snare, the, the mix. We're getting the mix perfectly in balance. Uh, we're processing it in every way that we want to. And then we're getting the final print of the mix ready for mastering. Um, so yeah, I mean, that is the difference between mixing and mastering. They're two very, very different services. Uh, one is mixing and one is mastering. 